Mexican hairless dog. The solo is quaintly, slash oloits quaintly slash, or hollow for short, is a hairless breed of dog, found in toy, miniature, and standard sizes. The hollow also comes in a coated variety and coated and hairless can be born in the same litter. It is characterized by its sparse hair coat and a severe oligodontia. This phenotype is a consequence of canine ectodermal dysplasia caused by a mutation on the FOXL3 autosomal gene. It is also known as the Mexican hairless dog in English-speaking countries and is one of several breeds of hairless dog. It is also raised for its meat. In Nahuatl, from which its English name originates, its name is Solo is Quaintly, singular, and Zoloitzkinten, plural. The name Solo is Quaintly comes from the god Xolotl and Itzkintli, meaning dog in Nahuatl. Lineage. A 1999 genetic study using mitochondrial DNA found that the DNA sequences of the Zoloitz Quintly were identical to those of dogs from the Old World, and did not support a New World domestication for this breed. This early study did not find a close genetic relationship between Zoloitz Quintly and the Chinese crested dog, another hairless breed that is cited by the American Kennel Club as an ancestor to the Zoloitz Quintly. In 2018, an analysis of DNA from the entire genome indicated that domesticated dogs entered North America from Siberia 4,500 years after the first humans did, were isolated for the next 9,000 years. After contact with Europeans, these lineages were replaced by Eurasian dogs and their local descendants, like the Zoloitz Gwintli. The pre-contact dogs exhibited a unique genetic signature that is now almost entirely gone. History Archaeological evidence has been found in the tombs of the Colima, Mayan, Toltec, Zapotec, and Aztec Native Americans dating similar dogs to over 3,500 years ago. Note, above, that it is unlikely that modern Zolos have any appreciable relationship to these pre-European dogs. Long regarded as guardians and protectors, the indigenous peoples believed that the Hollow would safeguard the home from evil spirits as well as intruders. In ancient times the Zolos were often sacrificed and then buried with their owners to act as guide to the soul on its journey to the underworld. These dogs were considered a great delicacy, and were consumed for sacrificial ceremonies including marriages and funerals. Most likely, these pre-European dogs originated as spontaneous hairless mutations of indigenous American dogs. Hairlessness may have conferred a survival advantage in tropical regions. Indigenous peoples of Mexico had hollow dogs as home and hunting companions, and today they are still very popular companion dogs. They are also the national dog of Mexico. Their value in ancient native cultures is evidenced by their frequent appearance in art and artifacts. Pre-European Zolos were considered sacred dogs by the Aztecs, Toltecs, Maya, and other groups. They were also useful companion animals. According to Aztec mythology, the god Xolotl made the Solo as quaintly from a sliver of the bone of life from which all mankind was made. Xolotl gave this gift to man with the instruction to guard it with his life and in exchange it would guide man through the dangers of Mictlan, the world of death, toward the evening star in the heavens. Some people in Mexico continue to believe this breed has healing qualities. The Aztecs also raised the breed for their meat. 16th century Spanish accounts tell of large numbers of dogs being served at banquets. Aztec merchant beasts could have 80 to 100 turkeys and 20 to 40 dogs served as food. When these two meats were served in the same dish, the dog meat was at the bottom of the dish, either because it was held in higher regard or because it was increasingly considered a step above cannibalism. The Aztecs consumed few domesticated animals like Zolos or turkey. Over 90% of the bones found at archaeological sites are of deer that were hunted. The breed is not well known in the United States. As a result, the hollow has been mistaken for the mythical chupacabras of Mexico. The Zolo Squintly is the symbol of Club Tijuana, a Mexican professional football club. Registry Federis Yun Sinologica Internacional, FCI Despite the hollow's more than 3,000-year history in Mexico, the breed did not receive any official notice in its homeland until the 1950s. The FCI, founded in 1940, was not prepared to declare the hollow an official purebred at that time. According to breed historian Norman Pelham Wright, author of The Enigma of the Soloist Quaintly, Zolos began to turn up at Mexican dog shows in the late 1940s. Although they were recognized as indigenous specimens of a native breed, interest in them was minimal at that time, because information was scarce and no standard existed by which to judge them. Within a decade the FCI realized that the breed would become extinct if drastic action were not taken to save it. 
This led to the widely publicized Hollow Expedition of 1954. With the official sanction of the FCI, Wright and a team of Mexican and British dog authorities set off to discover if any purebred Zolos still existed in remote areas of Mexico. Eventually 10 structurally strong Zolos were found and these dogs formed the foundation of Mexico's program to revive the breed. A committee headed by Wright authored the first official standard for the breed, on May 1, 1956. The Hala was finally recognized in its native land and, as Mexico is a member of the FCI, worldwide. American Kennel Club, AKC Zolos were among the first breeds recorded by the American Kennel Club, AKC. A Mexican dog named Me Too made breed history as the first AKC registered hollow in 1887. Chinito Jr., bred and owned by Valet Skaradki of New York City, became the breed's only AKC champion to date. He earned his title on October 19, 1940. In 1959, the Hala was dropped from the AKC studbook due to the breed's scarcity and perceived extinction. The Salawas Queenly Club of America XCA, was founded in October 1986 to regain AKC recognition for the breed. On May 13, 2008, AKC voted to readmit the breed to its miscellaneous class starting January 1, 2009. The XCA is the official parent club for the breed founded on October 26, 1986, for the purpose of regaining AKC recognition for the solo as Queenly. The founding members voted unanimously to recognize all three sizes, toy, miniature and standard, and both varieties, hairless and coated, at their initial meeting. Since then, the XCA has compiled a stud book modeled on requirements for eventual AKC acceptance, held an annual independent specialty show, published a quarterly newsletter, the Hollow News, and maintained an active national rescue network, National Hollow Rescue, known before 2009 as the Hollow Rescue League. Since January 1, 2007, FSS registered Zolos have been eligible to compete in AKC performance events. The breed was moved into the AKC studbook in December 2010 and has been eligible to be shown in the AKC non-sporting group since January 1, 2011. The first AKC group winning hollow was Bayshore Mole who won a Group 4 placement February 2, 2011, and this was followed by his littermate Bayshore Giorgio Armani receiving back-to-back -back group placement. On August 8, 2011, Bayshore Giorgio Armani became the first hollow to be named Best in Show in AKC competition. Bayshore Mole became the first hollow to win back-to-back -back Best in Shows on September 3 and 4, 2011. Both dogs were bred by Bayshore Kennel in Virginia. In February 2012, the Hala was one of six new breeds to make their first appearance at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. Characteristics Appearance The breed ranges in size from about 10 to 55 pounds, 4 to 25 kilograms. Similar in appearance to a pharaoh hound, with a sleek body, almond-shaped eyes, large bat-like ears, and a long neck, the Hala was notable for its dominant trait of hairlessness. The dominant hairless trait originated in this breed as a spontaneous mutation thousands of years ago. The recessive expression of the trait will produce a coated variety, which is genetically inseparable from the hairless, as the homozygous appearance of the hairless mutation is fatal to the unborn pup. Most litters contain both hairless and coated puppies. The coated variety, covered with a short, flat dense coat represents the original form of the dog prior to the occurrence of the spontaneous hairless mutation. The hairless variety is completely hairless on the body, with many dogs exhibiting a few short hairs on the top of the head, the toes, and the tip of the tail. Most hairless dogs are black or bluish-gray in color. The allele responsible for the hollow's hairlessness also affects the dog's dentition. Hairless solos typically have an incomplete set of teeth while the dogs of the coated variety have complete dentition. The hollow is moderate in all aspects of its appearance, conveying an impression of strength, agility, and elegance. Hollow body proportions are rectangular, slightly longer in total body length than the height measured at the highest point of the withers, top of the shoulders. The breed occurs naturally in two varieties, hairless and coated. Hairless solos are the dominant expression of the heterozygous HH hairless trait. Coated solos, HH, are the recessive expression, and breeding hairless to coated or hairless to hairless may produce pups of either or both varieties. Breeding coated to coated will only produce coated pups because they are recessive to the hairless trait and do not carry the dominant H gene. Dot. Both varieties occur in all hair or skin colors, and often marked, splashed, or spotted. The most common colors are various shades termed black, blue, and red. 
The breed occurs in a range of sizes, which breeders have standardized into three designations. Temperament The Solo is Queenly's primitive temperament, very high intelligence, sensitivity, high energy, inquisitiveness, strong hunting, and social instincts, is apparent because the breed's temperament was not modified overall by selective breeding in their native history in Mexico. This has also ensured a sturdy physical nature and vigorous health generally innate in both coated and uncoated solos. Adult solos are frequently noted for their calm demeanor, although puppies can be extremely energetic, noisy, and very oral until they reach maturity, after two years old, and do not bark much, after which they tend to settle down and become more calm. Inadequately supervised or exercised solos can become escape artists, climbing and jumping fences to chase. Stop many individuals of this breed can possess guard dog ability and will not back down from a fight. At the same time, adult dogs, when they are raised properly, can become steady, well-behaved, and affectionate companions. Though physically grown at one year, many dog breeds including Zolos, are not emotionally mature until around two years. Like active breeds such as Terriers, Zolos need calm, consistent, and loving obedience training and regular socialization during their growing years. Well-raised Zolos bond strongly with their owners, becoming highly devoted to their families while frequently choosing one specific family member as favorite. Anyone considering acquiring a hollow should expect to spend time educating themselves in balanced dog training techniques, and, ideally, should have prior experience with active and intelligent dog breeds. A spacious, well-fenced, and safe physical environment is desirable for this breed. Daily walks are ideal for exercising most toy-sized solos, however more stimulating physical and mental exercise is advised for larger and more active individuals. Dot behavior problems in solos are typically a result of a dog receiving inadequate or inconsistent supervision, as well as inadequate exercise and mental stimulation. The solo is quaintly is a social dog that should not, in most cases, be an only dog. It does not do well when kept as an outside-only dog. This is a breed that is at its best when it is made part of the family, receiving regular interaction and socialization with its humans, and other dogs, whether present in the home or as regular playmates. Health The hollow has been developed by natural selection for thousands of years, and is therefore generally not prone to health and structure problems as other dog breeds more modified by human selection efforts. Zolos came from tropical climates and are not suited for outdoor life in colder temperate and northern climates, they should be considered an indoor dog breed. They need bathing, light grooming, and skin care as with other dogs of similar physical type, or acne can result. Most skin problems arise from poor breeding, neglect, or overbathing and over lotioning, stripping natural protections and clogging pores. In popular culture, protections and clogging pores. In popular culture, protections and clogging.